Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. I'd like to give you today three reasons why eating a whole apple is better for you, is more healthy than drinking uh, apple juice. Um, the first reason is something I've covered already. Uh, whole fruits contain fiber. Uh, in particular, in apples, the fiber is called pectin. And this fiber, a soluble form of fiber, is able to prevent uh, delay the absorption of glucose into the blood and this prevents the sugars which are mainly fructose within the apple being absorbed too quickly and this prevents the liver being overloaded with nutrients. Um, so fiber in whole fruits is beneficial when you take the juice away from the fiber the sugars the fructose are able to rapidly enter the blood and they overload the liver with nutrients and this increases the flux through the de novo lipogenesis pathway with the result of production of fatty acids and these fatty acids can cause insulin resistance. So the first reason that apples are better than apple juice is because they retain their original fiber. The second reason that apples are better than drinking apple juice is because when apple juice is made, the skin of the apples is removed and discarded. Now this is important because when you eat whole apples, you tend to eat the skin. And the skin is where most of the phytonutrients are concentrated. Now to understand why this is, imagine an apple on a tree, uh, it's exposed to UV light, it's exposed to a lot of uh, pests that try to eat that apple. Um, the phytonutrients within the apple are there to protect it from both pests and from environmental damage from things like uh, UV rays. And therefore, it's in the interest of the plant to concentrate the phytonutrients in the skin of the apple. Uh, when we eat the apple peel, the skin, um, we tend to take in most of the phytonutrients and, and, and consuming the peel of the apple is better for you than actually consuming the pulp. Uh, in fruit juice, there is no peel. The peel is removed and therefore you're only uh, consuming the pulp, which contains most of the sugars and not so many phytonutrients. So the second reason for, for eating whole apples is because you tend to eat the peel and the peel is the healthiest part of the apple. The third reason why eating a whole apple is better for you than uh, drinking uh, apple juice is because you know what is in an apple. OK, there may be pesticides on the peel of the apple, but you can always eat organic apples. So that's a moot point. Uh, what I mean really is that when you make fruit juice, you can add other things to it. An apple is an apple. It contains nothing but apple. Fruit juice contains other things uh, such as other sugars. Sugars can be added to fruit juice to increase the sweetness. Artificial sweeteners can be added to fruit juice to be able to uh, increase the taste uh, and improve the uh, palatability. And um, additives can be added as well to maintain the shelf life of the fruit juice. Now that doesn't mean that all fruit juices have extra ingredients, uh, some of them don't. But the point is that when you eat an apple, you know 100% that you are eating an apple. When you eat fruit juice, you really don't know what has uh, been done to that fruit juice. It has been processed. You weren't there when the apple juice was being processed and therefore you have no idea what has been done to that juice. So the three reasons uh, why you should consume whole apples are because you consume the fiber with a whole apple, you consume the peel with a whole apple, and because you know what is in a whole apple. Now this, I've, I've picked apples as an example. This could apply to other fruits. Um, if you've watched my other videos or visited my website, you will see that I don't advocate drinking fruit juice at all. Studies are now showing that fruit juice is no different to drinking soft drinks in terms of the detrimental health effects uh, that it has. Uh, the overloading of the liver with too many sugars in too small a period of time uh, is common to both fruit juice and soft drinks, and both of them are possible drivers of obesity. If you are currently drinking a lot of fruit juice in the belief that it is good for your health, I would suggest that you cease this practice and you start to consume whole fruit instead.